Hello everyone and welcome back to another vlog. If you're new here, oh that was really bright. <laughs> if you're new here, I'm Jordan. I am a certified nurse practitioner, health coach, and a YouTuber. I am starting a couple days in the life vlog. I've got some Mediterranean diet recipes that I want to share with you guys. I want to start this vlog now because I am redoing my home office. So I want to make sure to show you the before and after. Some exciting news. I have my first official job as a nurse practitioner and I'm going to be working remotely. I wanted to update my office, coat of fresh paint, got a new chair, I got something so that I can um, stand, like a standing desk converter type thing. Going for, you know, just really white and bright but also zen. I want to have my yoga mat in here. I want to have like essential oils diffusing in here. I've got a ton of boxes here, all the stuff that I ordered. I need to take all of that out of the box and just kind of see what we have, see what I need to, you know, put together myself. So this is my office currently. We did just paint the walls like a really pure white just recently. So the color on the walls is staying. I just got this mirror. Hello. I'm thinking the mirror here. I would like to move the desk to this window so that the desk is there when you walk in. And then over here is my boxes. So I got a new chair, a thing so you can convert it to a standing desk. I got a mat that you can stand on. That's this black thing back here. So you stand on this so that your feet don't get as fatigued. I got these frames over here to put on the wall because my mom painted me this beautiful watercolor and I want to put it in one of the frames and maybe get some more. This is like where I take my photos. It's a just like a kitchen cart from Wayfair. Sometimes I pull it into the kitchen. I may move that over to that side or it may need to find like another room to go in. I'm not sure. I have this bookcase over here. I need to go through there, see what books I'm not really using that I want to donate, kind of decide where I want this piece because I'd love to have like a little chair, a little side table with like candles on it, either at this wall or this wall. I'm gonna start opening the boxes and seeing what we got. Maybe I can put my chair together today. I'm really excited about my chair because I think it's gonna help my back and my neck to have a much more comfortable ergonomic chair. <laughs> getting ready to make some lunch. So as promised, I'm going to share with you guys some new Mediterranean diet lunch recipes that I am testing out. So I do have kind of a spin on my typical eggs that I'm going to try today. And then tomorrow I'm gonna to try out this new salmon salad that I think is gonna be amazing. So let's go ahead and let me show you what I've got going on. I'm going to be making a zucchini and tomato Greek omelets. What makes it more Greek style are the herbs that I'm adding. So I am adding some oregano, very classic in Greek cooking. I'm using dry oregano and I'm also using mint. Kind of sounds strange, I think, to add mint to a savory like omelet recipe, but you know what? Basil is pretty common and basil is actually part of the mint family. So that's what the recipe calls for. I'm gonna give it a try and I have a ton of mint that I need to use up for my garden. Middle of summer, so we've got lots of zucchini, lots of tomato. My eggs over here, I'm gonna use three eggs. Just gonna scramble them up in this bowl. I'm gonna cook everything using like a medium heat. So I'm going to use some olive oil and I've got my salt and my pepper. Small skillet heating over here and I'm just gonna saute up all the veggies to start. Just going to add a teaspoon of olive oil, swirl that around. Add my chopped cherry tomatoes, the salt, and pepper. Tomatoes have softened up a little bit. And add my zucchini. I like to season as I cook, as I go. I don't like seasoning at the end because when you season as you cook, the flavor gets in better and it also helps the vegetables cook down because the salt forces their water to be released. Be generous with the salt. You don't have to be afraid of salt if you're salting your own food at home. Half a teaspoon 
of the dry oregano. Oregano is super high in antioxidants. About a teaspoon and a half, I would say, of fresh mint, or if you're gonna use dry mint, a half, a quarter to a half teaspoon. Really excited to see how this mint tastes with these veggies in this omelet. Let that go just for a minute so that the herbs can kind of heat through and like their flavor can really activate. All right, and just transfer the veggies to plate to be our filling for the omelet. Three eggs beaten with salt and pepper. Edges are starting to set. I've just been kind of swirling the pan around. Still a little runny in the middle, but what I'm going to do is go ahead and add my veggies back onto one side, cover it for one to two minutes, I'll check it, and then it should be ready to flip. Run my spatula around. Here we go. The mint works. This is so good. If you like eggs for breakfast, this is a great breakfast as well. Mmm. You really don't taste like mint, but the oregano and the salty tomatoes and zucchini just adds like a little bit of freshness. Like you just feel really fresh <laughs> eating this. It is now the next day and it's time to make my second Mediterranean lunch. I'm going to show you how I make the dressing. I'm really excited about this dressing. It's yogurt based. It has a dill in it. I think it's going to be really good. I tend to make a lot of my dressings with tahini or olive oil. So I feel like this will be a nice change up. Big part of my healing my gut is actually including more variety in my meals. It's really easy for us to get in a rut. It's convenient to kind of have the same thing every day. So this is just a good way every once in a while to kind of try some new things and bring some new ingredients in into the mix because our gut bacteria love variety. See if I can put you here. Here are all my ingredients for the dressing using some of this yogurt. I think you could also use Greek yogurt. This yogurt is pretty thick, so I'm going to give this a try. Fourth of a cup, two tablespoons or so of chopped fresh dill, one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, lemon juice. Oh no, I got a seed in there. It always happens when I don't use a lemon squeezer. Half a tablespoon of Dijon mustard, one teaspoon of honey. I'm just going to eyeball it pinch of salt and pepper. And we'll just whisk this up. Got my dressing ready. I'm going to go ahead and assemble my salad and I'll show you what it looks like. Mixed greens that I washed and chopped. Add some cucumber. I peeled and seeded my cucumber. I find I digest it better when I do that. You could certainly skip those steps. Cucumber goes so well with dill. So I think cucumber in the salad is gonna be great. Onion, lots of beautiful colors. Some chopped or shredded carrots. For my protein, I am going to be using this can of wild elastic pink salmon. If you sauteed a filet of salmon or baked salmon, you could of course use that. You could put sardines on this, a great way to use sardines, tuna, shrimp, leftover chicken, hard-boiled eggs. Look at that. Jackson, does that look yummy? <laughs> Hi, buddy. Do you want some? Do you want to try some dressing? It's Jackson approved. Sally wants a taste. Give this a taste test. I'm gonna mix it all up. Dressing, I was just thinking, could be really good to like mix with canned salmon and make like a salmon salad, like instead of using mayo. Keep that in the fridge, add it to crackers, to salads. Here we go. It's the dill. It's so good. It's a few days later. I'll show you my new office. Well, it's not 100% done yet. We made some big improvements. So let me show you the final reveal. Here we go. We're walking in. I decided to go with the desk here. Kept it there. I kept my kitchen cart there. I've got my sit to stand converter there so I can raise this up and be standing. I've got my new chair all put together. It's got so much support, so much better for my back. I've got my mat right there that I can stand on. Planner here. I put up all of my degrees. A snake plant. I have my uh, exercise ball in here because sometimes I like to lay on it and stretch my back out when 
I've been standing or sitting for too long. We are eventually going to hang that here, but we need to get some different things to hang it to like make sure it's up there and sturdy because it's pretty heavy, but there is my pretty mirror. I just think it's so pretty. It goes with the gold of these three frames that I put up and it just brings even more light in here. My new bookshelf. So I took away the smaller brown one that I had and I put up all my books, my pictures up there, got a little plant, my yoga mat, my massage blocks and my foam roller there. The only thing I have left to do, I think I want to get like a little chair and a little table to go here to put candles on and just like, you know, have a little sit area right there, a little zen, maybe like meditation area right there. Really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all the things. It really helps my videos get found on YouTube. I so, so appreciate it. Other than that, I will see you soon for another one. Bye.